Hey, it's Tech Games here today, and today my voice will be about kind of low or whatever, or just sound kind of weird because I'm so tired. I've been tired all day. I have no reason why I'm tired. I fell asleep, woke back up at 6, and then I fell asleep again and woke back up at 10. I don't usually wake up that late. The latest I usually wake up is like 8 or 9 o'clock. I like waking up early. I don't like waking up late. I've just been tired all day. Hopefully, I don't fall asleep again. Um, but yeah, um, yeah guys, I basically just want to talk about Ram Metal Gear Solid. It went through really just ramble on about it. And, you know, my thoughts, I just wanted to do my thoughts on it. Recommendations for the game. Now, first of all, uh, personally, my three favorite Metal Gear Solids were the ones with Big Boss in it. And that is five. That's Metal Gear Solid five. No, it's actually four. Portable Ops, five. Uh... Metal Gear Solid 3, Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker, but I haven't played 5 yet. I played Portable Ops. 5 is the only Metal Gear Solid out of every Metal Gear Solid game out there that exists that I haven't played. I don't even own the game. I'm trying to get the game because, well, I don't even have a PS4 right now or Xbox One. Um, I'm kind of lacking behind on the newer systems. I think the newest system I have is a PS Vita and a 3DS. That's like the newest because I'm still on PS3 and the other generations right there. So that was like the longest generation of like consoles. But anyways, back on Metal Gear Solid. Um, really, I recommend you to, if you haven't played it, I oh yeah before oh yeah before I say that before I say that. Um, firstly, yeah, those ones that were saying my three favorite, those ones were big bosses inside of them. And there's and just if you haven't played the game, there's there's uh, three different types of snakes: the Solid Snake, Liquid Snake and big boss and there's another one but i'm not gonna get into that because i'd rather you just play the game i just want to tell you so whenever i say a snake you know which one i'm talking about because liquid and solid and the other one they're clones a big boss big boss is original so half of the metal gear solid games main characters big boss half of the metal gear solid games main characters solid snake um i personally like all the ones with big boss i i don't know what it is it's kind of weird i can't get into the ones that have solid snake I get into, I can only get into the Metal Gear Solids that have Big Boss in them. And the last Metal Gear Solid game that was made was 5. Sadly, uh, that was the last Metal Gear Solid because that was the hit in the story. There's nothing else to do, so Hideo Kojima has in that series. Uh, but yeah, 5 was the last one. But if it recommended, I would recommend you play... Um, I'm not going to say the Big Boss ones because that's my favorite. I recommend you just to play 3, which has Big Boss and is one of my favorite Metal Gear Solids. But because it takes place first chronologically in story. Now, see, the thing for Metal Gear Solid is that the games when they came out, it doesn't take place the same time as it all came out. Like, let's say that Metal Gear Solid 3 came out in 2010. Just is just speculating. No, no, just, I'm just saying because Metal Gear Solid 3 did not come out in 2010. And let's say Metal Gear Solid 5 came out in, two, in 2012. You'll think Metal Gear, Metal Gear Solid 5 will take place after Metal Gear Solid 3. Well, no. Metal Gear Solid 3. Um, Metal Gear Solid 3 would take place before Metal Gear Solid 5. Well, I mean, you kind of get the idea. I think I'm, sounds stupid right now. Anyways. Um, but yeah. Um, Metal Gear Solid 3 is honestly the first to take place. Uh, so I recommend you play that one first to get into the series and see if you like it. I, I really do. Peace Walker and 3 are my two favorite. Peace Walker was on PSP, just in case you're looking for it. Peace Walker's on PSP, and it's on PS3 Collection. I believe it's on Xbox 360, but um, if I'm not mistaken, Metal Gear Solid used to only be on PlayStation, and then some, all of a sudden, they, like, this, this generation, they added it on Xbox. I don't, I don't know, but I guess it's kind of cool so the Xbox players, they can play it too. But, uh... But yeah, guys, so I recommend you play that. And then three, they have the Metal Gear Solid Collection. I, re I recommend getting the Metal Gear Solid Collection um, because the Metal Gear Solid Collection has all the Metal Gear Solids except Metal Gear Solid 5 and Portable Ops because Portable Ops wasn't developed by Hideo Kojima. So, um, yeah, I recommend you just getting that. And then, yeah, the game, honestly, the story is just amazing to me. Uh, the story, the gameplay mechanics, it's like kind of like top down the older ones are more top down to where it's like it was weird it's like a weird camera angle but you get used to it you actually like it it's actually really cool um oh yeah also for Metal Gear Solid 3 they have two different versions because what I just mentioned that camera angle there's one of them which is starts to R I forgot what it's called uh res something 
and then there's just the regular Metal Gear Solid 3. The regular one has a top-down view. The other one has the first person, has the um, third-person view. Which honestly, I, I, I guess I prefer the third-person view more, but because the other one's kind of weird. But you see, look up some Metal Gear Solid gameplay. You see when I'm talking about the camera angles and stuff. But the newer ones don't have that camera angle. It was the older ones, like and stuff. But Metal Gear Solid's a really good game. Really, really recommend you to check it out. Really recommend you check the game out. It's awesome. You will not regret it. You might even replay it a couple times. Um, because that's jam-packed with content and Easter eggs. Oh yeah, that game is full of comedy. It look it's serious. It's really serious. Um, at points, but that game is funny sometimes. It just like it has a good balance. It's a really good game, man. I can't even explain going to detail. That's how good of a game it is. Now you know a game is really good when you can't even explain it. So yeah, um, there's so many costumes, Easter eggs you can find. Uh, oh god. And then Among Us, Peace Walker, and Five you can go online. Those are the only ones you can go online for. I recommend you going online because they're actually pretty fun. Uh, you know, if you play some modes, don't get mad because there are some cheap scrubs out there, I guess. Um, <laughs> but, um, yeah, guys. So, that was, I think, pretty much it. What I had to say about Microsoft. It's an awesome series. Definitely give it a 10 out of 10, 5 out of 5. Whatever the highest rating. They don't disappoint me. I just prefer the ones with Big Boss in them. Those are the ones I mostly play. And that's the ones I think I've only played. But, and then there's a spinoff one with Raiden. Which he's a character in Melgar Solid, but this is a spinoff one rating. I guess you can get that. It won't really spoil anything in the story. And I believe it's the latest Melgar Solid that came out before 5. So, yeah, guys. I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Everything in the description. Google Plus, Twitter. Game on. Tech Game Team out.